I'm a very lucky in the sense that I can get to every game. I've, the last game I missed was uh, September 2002, a uh, nil-nil home game with Ipswich because I won a holiday to Barcelona. Um, and free tickets to the new camp for the uh, for Barcelona, so this was an obvious thing that I'd, I, you know, I'd take, take the holiday. But since then, um, no, uh, I'm lucky I can go to Ipswich on a Tuesday, I can get to Colchester, whatever the, whatever the fixture list throws at us. I've been a student for most of the time, um, working towards ultimately getting a PhD and throughout that I've been able to lucky enough to have the backing and the support of that I could do that and, and get there and that is a lucky thing because I know a lot of people would love to do it and you know I don't pretend somehow that this makes me a great great because I have been able to do it it's luck and it's you know the way things fall I've, I've been able to I can still do it and I still continue to get myself to to games away games to me um, are about a lot more than 90 minutes football um, the you know you go to a town you get get I always try and embrace a little bit about the town, um, admittedly through the pubs, but I always look for sort of the real ale pubs where you have a sort of community around that, often a sort of older supporter where you can have a discussion and, and you often do get some banter and there are people who come to the real ale pubs of Preston that I see in Preston and then we'll go and see in their pub down in thing. And it kind of gets to a point where, because we do go to the same sort of your Ipswiches, your Plymouths, your Southamptons, etc., regularly, you kind of become a local and there's a lot of the landlords now recognise us as we go in, a uh, sort of little group of fans who travel around. And that's brilliant because, again, it, football is about so much more than, than just 90 minutes watching 11 men running around a field. It, you've got that community and, and everybody respects each other. You know, there is that real sense that everybody respects football fans. Preston are pretty notorious for doing all our friendlies in Scotland. Uh, so I've been up to Scotland a few times. We were up in Edinburgh just uh, this summer. But uh, perhaps the most ill-fated and famous trip that uh, Preston made was a couple of seasons back under Paul Simpson when we went to America uh, to play three games over there as part of a kind of championship tie-in deal to, to promote the division to Americans. And as a principal, that was something I supported. And I was delighted to be able to get the opportunity to travel over to America and to experience a very different way of watching of soccer, of course. Uh, trying to explain I was going in to watch football at uh, the American airport immigration was a, was, a, was a challenge. Eventually I remembered what I was supposed to do. But that trip went down sort of in history because the facilities turned out to be poor, the results were bad, and it knock-on effect to the start of the season ultimately probably led to Paul Simpson losing his job. But as a fan, the, to go over there and to be, you know, to experience the American way and the, to be embraced as well as we were and looked after as well as we were, particularly by the Portland Timbers over there, was, was brilliant. And, you know, there was, there was ten of us made the trip. Um, and it was a real nice community spirit we had amongst us and an absolutely superb trip from a supporter's side and something I'd love to be able to do again. I mean, personally, I'd like to do a sort of Asian trip and go and play in China or Malaysia or whatever. That would be, that would be great. But, but I think from that experience, I can't see North End doing it again um, in a hurry. I think a lot of games, you can wear the Preston colours. Um, you get to know, I think, certainly Birmingham, for example, I wouldn't go to wearing colours. But, but certain clubs, you know that you can go there, as long as you avoid the obvious trouble pubs, uh, the ones near the ground that are, well, OK, have the reputation where you know that North End's lot will go and look for, and the locals will be ready, and there is pubs like that in most towns, and we all know it, it's unfortunate. But if you're going into into like say community type pub, probably a couple of miles from the ground, then it's nice to have the colours and because that's how you get the get the discussions going and you know, I say this this idea that we're all sort of football fans together is it is good.